tackling political heat over ice. A proposed ordinance some fear could leave two local rinks out in the cold. The ordinance in Evendell would regulate air quality in those rinks. Just hours ago, it looked like that measure was going to be passed tonight. Nine on your side's Ashley Zilka is live right now at the village's council meeting with a look at what's behind the ordeal in the first place and what the next step truly is. Well, Craig, a second reading of the ordinance is happening, but I'm told there will be no vote on it. Last week, the two ice rinks received this nine page ordinance declaring an emergency, but the village says that was just a typo. If the emergency ordinance would have passed, the rink's owner says this ice rink would be no more. <laughs> owner of Sports Plus, Greg Martini, says his business would likely close permanently. The same would happen at the other rink, Northland Ice Center. The first thing that sort of amazed me is that a village would even propose an ordinance because this is the first uh, municipality that's proposed an ordinance like this in the entire country. Even though Fire Chief Michael Houck did confirm the village air quality ordinance would be a first. It's only been done at the state levels. The guidelines are inspired by the Serving the American Rinks organizations, but would not be as strict. Houck says the fire department encountered carbon monoxide hazards at both rinks in the past. In the past two years, we've had more than six runs to the facilities where they may not have started out as carbon monoxide runs, but carbon monoxide issues occurred or were evident once we got there. Issues that Martini says are not really accurate for his rank. We purchased some home carbon monoxide monitors um, last summer from the fire department and we had issues with those um, detectors continuously going off. Since then, Martini says he has purchased an industrial unit with no problems. Our levels are well below all industry standards. The fire chief says he will now allow more time for the ice rinks and village to work together through the ordinance and possibly revise it. Are these rinks dangerous? No, okay. absolutely not. Now the meeting just started several minutes ago. The council will have to go through several items before they get to the ice rinks ordinance. Earlier today, we reached out to the mayor and several city council members, but haven't heard back. Reporting live, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.